Hello everyone, you are watching Sora Lab. I am your host, Dr. Nobody, and welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. So, we're starting on our deck as usual. I know it's been a long time since the last episode. That is entirely my fault. I did not get the work done that I needed to uh, until recently. So, yes, but we are finally, finally back. So, um, you can see some stuff has been going on down there. Now, today is the Diplocaulus Day, right? We decided it would be that, yeah. We have three of those DNAs right here, and what we need to do is get some milk to actually do get them going. I, I have a little farm here. Ooh, what was that noise? Stop it. Okay. Um, I, ha I have a little farm here. Um, obviously not not permanent. It's going to be better than this. But, um, yeah, I have this, this here for now. Um, so I'm going to just take three buckets of milk from this cow and uh, just walk away and pretend that we that we're not seeing that because it looks horrible. I will make that better. Also, I'm very aware that the house looks hideous as well. A lot of things need to be worked on. Um, but let's see. So I'm just gonna put... Oh yeah, we also have two more Pachycephalosauruses. We may get to those in this episode or more likely in the next episode. Put those back in here. But those can, those can go live with Paco. Now, whilst we are waiting for this one to incubate, um, I will show you what I've done. So first of all, Paco is huge. He is absolutely massive. I don't have my book, but here he is. He is... Yeah, he's quite big. I think, he, I think this is as big as he's going to get. Um... Now, his exhibit is not very good. As you will see very short, very shortly, I've been working on the exhibit for the Diplocalus, and unfortunately, Paco's exhibit now looks very, very bland and dull and boring compared to, compared to that one. It's not very really up to standard with what I want to do for the rest of the series. So, we're going to... Okay, first I'm going to go sleep, but I'm going to need your guys's ad oh, it's not nighttime yet. I'm going to need your guys's advice um, on what to do about that, um, because Paco's exhibit is really, I, I, it's not very good, and I want to make it better, but I'm not really sure how, so if you guys want to... Um, why am I sitting in the chair? I want to sleep. Um, so yes, I need suggestions. Please, in the comments down below, suggest any ideas you have for said enclosure. We'll go look at it. No, I don't want to go. Oh yes. Also, I have an enchanting setup now. I also have some tools. I have a I'm breaking an efficiency fortune shovel. Fortune is kind of I don't really care, but it's a pretty good shovel. We have. Fortune. Th we have a lucky pick with fortune three, and we have a silk touch pick with efficiency four and unbreaking three. So yeah, we've got some. We're we're pretty pretty set for tools. We still need an axe, but yeah, we'll get that eventually. Um, in terms of the sword, I'm just using my ancient sword right now. Hopefully, we'll eventually get a scarab sword if we ever find scarab gems. But yeah. So here's the exhibit. Um, you can just uh, pause the video and look at it for a second and see what you think could make it look better and tell me in the comments. So yes. Now, um, also this needs working on, which I'll do later. What I was focused on is this. Yeah. So I actually quite like this. Like. I think it's awesome. So, yeah, this cliff face back here 
that that was this this was my first time uh building a custom sort of cliff for rock face so i it, so it's probably not very good like by actual standards but i think it's pretty good pretty good for a first time and yeah we basically just got there's some water it's all sandy i put some bushes down um and I'd like to hear your feedback on what you think of this as well. Uh, if there's anything you want me to change about it, like should we have more trees up there on top of the cliff? Should we have trees around here? Uh, and just anything else you want me to change about the exhibit. But we also have this little path here, which looks really nice as well. I put some leaves around. And it leads down into this, this sort of tunnel here which goes through here and this crafting table in case we need it and it goes straight into the exhibit so yeah we have a door in the in the rock face so we can just get in and out really easily to see our creatures so um yeah that's basically it and as you can see of course the boardwalk extends all the way around i also put a stone wall on this side so that the Diplocalus can't get out if they do choose to go on land, although I don't think they will. And I ran out of fences, but the boardwalk continues this way, and it will probably, I think, hit that hill right there, and then maybe go around that way. But yeah, it covers around the whole side of the Diplocalus exhibit for now. We have a bunch of space here as well to do something. That's another thing I want. So, I want you to vote on... Okay, actually, I got a few things I want you to tell me. Some of them I've already asked for, but we'll, we're going to just go, go back to the house and have a proper discussion regarding that. So, what I need from you guys is... A... Um, what do you think of the Diplocalus exhibit? And what would you want me to change about it? Um, B, names for the Diplocaluses. There are three of them. We don't know their gender yet, but we will by the end of this episode. Um, and then... What was the other thing? Um, huh. Oh yes, Paco's exhibit. How do we make that look better? And then, one more thing on top of that. How do we make this area look better? Including the farm, and just this whole sort of hillside where our path goes down leading up to the house. Also, how do we make the house look better? So to recap, how do we make the house area look better? How do we make Paco's exhibit look better? Feedback on the Diplocalus exhibit and Diplocalus names. That is what I need from you guys in the comments today. Oh look, there's our first Diplocalus eggs. Um, I think we're just gonna go hatch these right now, actually. Um, we need our Dinopedia, though. Um, uh, where did I put it? There it is. I just skipped, I skipped right over it. Um, now these guys might be ones that we want to use some of our chicken essence on, uh, simply because they're going to be so tiny when they hatch that we're not going to even be able to see them. So I might want to make them grow a little bit. We have six essence, which should be enough for... To, to grow each of them twice. So let's go down here. Down here. Now, I don't know if these can actually get on land. I, f they, I know they can survive on land, but I don't know if they actually can, like, get out, get out of the water and wander around. Um, but we're about to place them down and see what happens. So Diplocalus, uh, first of all, just um, so we know what the heck we're getting into. Uh, Diplocalus are, I believe, um. They're amphibians, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, they might be called, they might be considered fish, but I think they're amphibians, and they're like right at the bridge between fish and amphibians. 
So right around the time when fish started evolving to get on land, that's what these guys are. So I'm gonna put this one down. Bam! Oh my gosh! Look. Oh, I can't even keep up with him. There he is. Where'd he go? Come back here. I want to look at you. I want to get to you with the book. Okay. So this one is a male. Um, is a piscivore. Okay. Uh. Um. He's untamed. That's interesting. I don't really know what that is about. I thought he would just be tamed when I hatched him. Uh, that's interesting. Well, we'll figure that out, I'm sure. Um, health, he's got two, age, zero. Alright, so that's our first one. I don't know where the heck he's gone off to now, but uh, oh, I think I see him. I can see him on the map, which helps me pinpoint his location. We're getting a little bit of FPS uh, lag. Maybe I should turn that down. I had it really far earlier for another purpose. Ooh. Yes, there he is. And this is a better frame rate, too. I like that. So there's our first little Diplocalus. Let's go check on the incubator and see if we've got a second one yet. I, I'm starting to reflect on the f possibility that this exhibit is too big for them. Um, if that's the case, though, it's not a big deal, because we can either put something else in here with them, or we can move them out to another exhibit and put something else in here. But we'll have to decide that once they're actually grown up and big enough to see. Um, let's see, what have you got here? Almost there. So I think actually in the meantime I'm gonna grow our first one with some essence of chicken, and we're we're only gonna use two on him because I want to be able to grow them all equally. So let's see where this gets us. Hello, where is he? There he is. I see. All right. You get one. Oh god, is he attacking me? Oh my gosh, he's he's trying to kill me. Jeez. Okay. Here, I need to give you one more. I need to give you another chicken essence. Essence of chicken. Come on. Jesus. Okay. Um this could be a problem. And by could be, I mean it is a problem. Chicken essence. There we go. All right, I grew him two times. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ow! You can just get me from there? Look Look at this. I stand one block away from the water, or two, even like up on this leaf block. Here, look. Come at me. Look, he's hitting me up here. How is that? That's not, that's not okay. Okay. So, hmm. I'm kind of confused as to why he's not tame. The reason he's, he's attacking me is probably because he's not tame. Um... But, I don't know why he isn't tame. I'm going to read on the wiki about that. Also, if anyone knows, please tell me in the comments, because I'm pretty confused about that. Um, but, yeah. Well, also, I would like to show you my... Um, the hill up here. I haven't lit it up, because I don't want to have torches up here. But, that's fine. So, I've sort of... My cliff... I've tried to blend it in with the hillside back here, and I think it's worked pretty well. As you can see, I might extend it out a little bit, but yeah, hidden by the trees, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm actually pretty proud of this cliff. Um, so yeah, I, I want to do this more as well, Have act, ha, make like natural barriers for the exhibits. That's one thing I don't like too much about Paco's exhibit, is that it's just glass walls. Like, there's no, like, natural feature blocking him in, or anything really interesting ab about the shape of it or anything. So hopefully we can fix that in the next episode. Let's see. Got another one. All right. And third one going. Let's sleep. 
Um, also, uh, another... Oh, I'm pressing L for the map, because I'm used to Lord of the Rings. Okay, uh, also the Sand Harvest Center. I don't know if you've seen this... But I have cleaned, I've cleared it out. Uh, yes, you wouldn't have seen this because I, um, I, I, I took out all the bookshelves because I needed them for the enchanting setup. And now we have a lot of space in here. So hopefully, if, what I hope is that eventually we will fill these, we will cover these walls in chests and fill this whole space with just chests and chests of sand so that we never, so that we, so that we very rarely have to dig for sand at, at all. Like, I'll just come out here with my diamond shovel, and check it out, it's actually really, really easy to collect, to collect a lot of sand now, with this shovel, because it's got efficiency, so I can just go, it's like mowing the lawn at light speed. <laughs> so, yeah, it's become pretty easy to collect sand, so it wasn't a problem to get all the, all of it that I needed for the enclosure. Like, look, we've already, like... Put if I just grab all of this. Yeah, we've already got like three stacks. So, and it's still laggy over here. And again, I look over this way and I see entities. There's like an awful lot more than there should be for some reason. See, if I turn this way. Ooh, and you, so you can see up there. I believe this is how you see it anyway, but up there in the. Um, the, uh, okay, so on the, in the top left-hand corner, it's the letter E, I believe, and you can see it's like 17 out of 95, and I don't know if that's what it is, because when we turn over here, there's even more, it goes up to 30, but it's not, but it's not lagging over here. But when you turn over this way, it gets super choppy, yet we have less in the E. So maybe that's not the entities thing. I've really never learned how to <laughs> read the F3 menu other than coordinates, so... Yeah, it's a little... I, I, I'm not really sure. If anyone can tell me how to see the number of entities, because I feel like I'm probably not doing... not looking at the right thing, uh, that would be great if you could tell me, because I... Would like to know why there's so much lag here. It's and why it's so choppy. Because it would be nice to fix that. So yes, again pressing L. Okay, so the sand harvest center. Yeah, that's the updates for that. The hole is there. Um. So let's just. Oh, there's a zombie spawner. I don't know if I've shown you that, but uh, yeah, I found a zombie spawner. I, I. It's honestly getting a little muddled. What we actually. What I done in episode and what I've done on my own. But yeah, we have a zombie spawner in case you didn't know. Um, maybe we'll turn this into an XP farm eventually. Stop pressing L. Okay. Let's go home. Okay, we're only part of the way there. Tell you what. For the sake of this episode not being super long and full of just me talking random rubbish while we wait for this, I will just cut to when this cute little baby embryo is ready to be hatched. Okay. And that is the second egg that we needed. So now I guess let's just go hatch them. Um, I've got four chicken essence left to grow these guys. Hopefully not have them kill me. And we'll check their genders as well, so you know what uh, what gender you should be having in mind when you name them. So let's see, let's try not to get killed by that guy. There he is. Swimming around. Alright, um... You? Come on, get, get some... Get some chicken... Oh, that guy's coming for me now. Chicken essence, you need... You need essence of chicken, come back! There you go, come on. No! Stop! I don't want to deal with you. Of course, this guy's gonna start killing me once I grow him as well, I guess. Come on. No! What is wrong with you? Why, why do you thirst for my blood? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. I just, I just need to grow this guy. There we go. Get, get another one. Get another, no. Oh my god. How can you hit me even when I'm out of the water? How? How, how is that a thing you can do? Why? How and why? There we go. He's got two. Alright, so that guy's grown now as well. Oh, of course, now they're both freaking after me. Alright. Here, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna hatch this one on land. Because I think he'll survive. If not, it's totally my fault. But, I'm gonna hatch him on land, grow him, and then push him into the water. Bam. Okay. One, two, chicken essence. And now he's killing me. Okay, actually... Speak of which, let's check his gender. Or are there, let's check their gender. Wanted to check your your freaking. Let me. I just want to see. Mm, I can't even get close enough to him. He's like a freaking velociraptor. I can't. <laughs> what am I dealing with here? What is this alien creature of death and doom? Okay, male. So we got two males, we know that much. Oh my god, I can't get him into the water, can I? Will you eat this? I feel like they're hungry, and that's why they're killing me. But I, I don't have any fish to feed them with. I did not consider this, that I wouldn't be able to get him into the water. Um, oh wait, I have an idea. If I get a water bucket... I can maybe get him to f be pushed. Yes. Okay, come on. Get pushed by the water. Go. No. Go. No. Nuh-uh. Go. Why do you not get pushed by water? What the hell is wrong with you? I can't. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't expect that this would be such absolute hell to make these guys work. Okay, there we go, he's in. Okay. Um. Alright, let's just run and let's just run out. We need to sleep again. The days are so short. I'm used to, again, used to Lord of the Rings, where the days are twice as long. So it seems like I'm having to sleep, like, every minute. But... Alright, so, it's now, I have no idea w what to do about this, because we know two of them are male. The other one I have no idea, because I can't get close enough to, um, I can't get close enough to click on him with the book, because he freaking murders me like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, basically, you can leave whatever names you want. Uh, probably ungendered is best because I don't uh, either I don't I don't know the other one's gender so yeah and then also I don't think we're gonna be able to name tag them uh, like because I can't get close enough to click them so we'll just have to I, I, I don't know oh my gosh look my armor is like dead I need to make some more of that okay well, that's all for this episode. Um, remember, in the comments, I need suggestions. How do we improve Paco's exhibit? Any feedback you have on the Diplocalus exhibit? Names for three Diplocaluses, ungendered. And what exhibit should we do next? Actually, good point. Can't just vote for the next exhibit. We should actually look at the animals we have. We have options. We're going to do Pachycephalosaurus in the next episode. Add both of those to the exhibit. Uh, we have Confuciusaurus, although I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Coelacanth, Theratosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Arthropleura, Leopleurodon, Brachiosaurus, Sheep, Plesiosaurus, Megalodon, Dodo, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Deinonychus, Ichthyosaurus, two Velociraptors. We have two of a few of them. Uh, Spinosaurus, and Mammoth... Henodus and Gallimimus. So, you can just, so in the comments, just pick 
one of those creatures. You can pause the video and look at all of them if you want. Um, and just tell me which uh, creature you'd want to see next. So, like I said, that's all we have for today. Um, next episode, I will have new armor that is not completely dead. And we will have names for the Diplocaluses. I don't know how the heck we're going to name tag them, if we're going to name tag them at all, which we may not be able to. Um, and, yeah, so, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll manage something. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button on your way out. It helps me quite a lot. Don't forget to wash your hands. I've been Dr. Nobody. Goodbye.